Should we join that now? I have to practice. I've got my great fleet bubble horn exam scheduled for tomorrow. And I've got my afternoon nap scheduled for right now. Can't you at least play something more soothing so I can get to sleep? How about a traditional Venetian lullaby? Anything's better than that racket. <laughs> <laughs> Are we floating or are we sucked into a black hole? What is this? We're missing Daddy Cows! <laughs> <laughs> My name's Danny and this is her best friend Jack. But my name's Danny and this is her brother Max. And his best friend Ben. I thought we saying my name's Danny and this is her friend Ruby. And I'm her sister Mindy. And I'm Danny and this is the brilliant... Oh, 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 Danny, the front door's open. <laughs> Danny? Danny? <laughs> what happened? Danny, I think you've been burgled. Or maybe a fox got on here and trashed the kitchen, dragged you out of your bed, down the stairs, and left you here where you stayed asleep all night. Oh, not me as well. Not you as well what? Sleepwalking. I think I did this in my sleep. <laughs> Seriously? This is just what I need. I've got a big scene on Monday. I need my wits about me, and I'm going to be exhausted. Well, what did your other family members do when it happened to them? I'll call my cousin Lawrence. He managed to cure himself somehow. That's brilliant. Oh, I've not seen Lawrence in years. He was so cute with his little rosy cheeks and his freckles. I'll call him right now. Uh, Danny. Hmm? That's the TV remote. It's been a long night, apparently. <laughs> now, guys, remember to be nice to Lawrence. We know you've been going on all day about how shy and quiet and sensitive he is. He is, though. Oh, we've had Dolly's tea parties together. He used to love playing games with me. It was so adorable. Anyway, everyone, meet my cousin Lawrence. Brace yourself. <laughs> this is the dawning of the age of Mega Boy. Help you. Danny, it's me, your cousin. Lawrence? I mean, he's Mega Boy now. Lawrence is the more. The caterpillar became a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> A beautiful butterfly called Megaboid. I had a vision one morning. We're eating my waffles. I need to become. Megaboid. We're here. The mega name for a mega fella. You smell weird. It's a natural funky mask. Plus, I think I trodden something on the way here. Uh, anyway, um, these are my friends. This is Jack. And uh, this is. I'm Ruby. Mm. <laughs> hey! Isn't that Maisie, just in case you're wondering? Not really. So, why don't you tell us your cousin is so cool? <laughs> anyway, um, Lawrence, I mean, Megaboid, there's a reason why I invited you here. Sleepwalking. Mum and Dad told me. Walk me, Danny. <laughs> He's awesome. He's annoying. <laughs> Hello, Ruby's personal training service. Oh, sorry to hear that. Okay, well, I understand. Thanks for letting me know. Great. Another one of my clients just cancelled on me. No one wants me to be their fitness instructor anymore. I'm not surprised. Who wants to be down when do your smelly pets after and everyone in the gym? Pee. <laughs> for your information, they ditched me for stupid short-term exercise crazes, like dancer size and cowboyer size. Not just because I feel. Well, at least you admit you have it. <laughs> Jack, I can't afford to lose clients like this. Do I have B.O.? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so what's cowboy size? Oh, it's where you get fit by doing this. Yeah! <laughs> I'm fairly even real exercise. Well, maybe you should start a crazy your own. You know, like a cake size. Where you get fit by eating cakes. Somehow I don't think that'll work. All right, well, you're the expert. Uh, I'm just a simple DJ. I wonder. <laughs> so you think you can cure my sleepwalking? So what's the plan? Well, I need to watch you sleepwalking. So, what do you say, Daniel? 
<laughs> yeah, um, I say okay, but uh, please don't call me Danny O. Makes me sound like a breakfast cereal. Just put these on and snooze. Well, I can't just drop off. I mean, I only got up a couple of hours ago. I can solve that. And sleep. <laughs> and sleep. <laughs> and sleep now. This isn't working. You have done this before, haven't you? Of course I have. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Snorebird Z's, and you're watching Sleepy Time, the magazine show that's all about snoozing. Coming up today, we look at some of the new things you can count instead of sheep. But first, our special guest. Please welcome Mr. Torpid Knapp, who says he loves sleep so much, he claims to spend 99% of his time in the land of Nod. Torpid, welcome to Sleepy Time. <laughs> well, I guess that's one way to pass the time. <laughs> Yo, what's all this? I'm making posters for my new fitness class. Ruby? Teacher size. I thought I could put them up in the gym and get some business. Teacher size? What, as in DJing? I saw you DJing and thought I could combine some of your moves with my personal training programme. Create a new form of exercise. Well, I should probably thank you for giving me the idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, those are my moves. You can't use my moves in your fitness class. Uh, why not? Because they're my moves. They're unique. They belong to me, you... 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 <laughs> move thief. Well, if you're really that bothered, why don't you come up with your own teacher size business, eh? I will. Okay, then. Yeah, I'll make my own poster. Yeah. I'll call it something really snappy and original, like... Uh, Jack's... teacher size business. Yeah, yeah. How you like them apples? Are you serious? Just check out how serious I am. <laughs> oh, she's asleep. What are you doing? Shh! It's important you don't wake up. I have to see Danny sleepwalking. What's with the headphones? What headphones? What are you really doing, so-called mega boy? I'm just trying to help Danny. You're too young to understand anyway. Too young? I'm more or less the same age as you, you fish cat. You're up to something. I can smell it. Danny is Megaboy's favourite cousin. Why would he want to get revenge on her? Mm, who mentioned revenge? Uh, revenge. Uh, don't you just love these cushions? <laughs> so nice. I'm not buying this favourite cousin guff. Whatever you're up to, I want in. <laughs> Megaboy is not to anything. Well, I've got my eye on you. <laughs> Stand back. This is it. She's sleepwalking. This is going to be crispy. <laughs> Jack's DJ size business is a go. Jack, it takes years to become a personal trainer. Yeah, and it took literally hours to develop my DJ moves. So, I'll see who's the best when I get this bad boy up in the gym. <laughs> you spelled your name wrong? <laughs> It should be treated with fertilizer. <laughs> Care. <laughs> Whoa, this is really weird. Why am I in here? <coughs> oh, why does my mouth taste like coffee? <laughs> oh, how bad was it? Bad. <laughs> what am I going to do? Don't worry. I've recorded a series of soothing messages. Listen to the recordings. Where you go to sleep tonight? 
And I guarantee your sleepwalking nights will be over for good. And you're sure this will work? Yeah, I'm sure. Or my name isn't Megaboid. Your name isn't Megaboid. It's Lawrence. <laughs> Megaboid, departing now. I love that little guy. <laughs> Okay, we're off. Good luck tonight with the sleepwalking, yeah? I've got a finish line. It's going to be different now that I've got this. I can't believe you're really going to trust Mega Boy to help you. Why wouldn't I? He's my cousin. He's looking out for me. Because he's completely annoying. He's only looking out for himself. I know it. Well, I think he's wicked. He's like what I want to be like when I grow up. <laughs> hey, Jack, you're almost twice his age. So? He's my new role model. <laughs> okay, so he can be a bit unique. But he's not trouble. He's not like Max. Are you? No, he's not like me at all. He talks about himself in the third person. Megaboy does this, Megaboy does that. No, actually, scratch that. Your real name's Lawrence. Talks about himself in the fourth person. Admit it, Maisie. You think he's cute. <laughs> so even go there. I think he's a total idiot, and Maisie's going to prove it. Oh, see, now I'm doing it. It's catchy. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, and we'll see how Megaboy's help has gone. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, time for an early night, I think. Actually, it's only 6 p.m. Maybe that's too early. OK, that's a bit later now. <laughs> this is the voice of Megaboid. You are feeling very calm. You will get a restful night's sleep and not sleepwalk. Sleep now, Danny. Sleep and relax. For I am Megaboid, the awesomest Megadude of all time. Listen very closely to these messages. Point one, I really love waffles. Ruby shows up. I'll take my first DJ size class today. Careful. Sorry. How are you feeling anyway? Oh, amazing. I feel so rested. Megaboy's recording really worked. He's just so amazing, Jack. He's clever and funny and cool. And who'd have thought he'd ever become so, so mega? I mean, he's probably the most incredible person I've ever met. Okay, okay. I think you're overdoing it just a time. What, you don't like him? I that. Maybe that's what you meant. Oh, hold on, I said he was cool. Yeah, but he's way cooler than you'll ever be. And don't even think about touching his waffles. Those are all for my amazing cousin Mega Boy. They're Mega Waffles, just how he likes them. <laughs> Danny, are you sure you're feeling okay this morning? Oh, that'll be him! Well, that was textbook weird. Oh, waffles. <laughs> so, Danny has an uncle who had a child with an aunt. So, why doesn't Mega Boy look like this? <laughs> Obviously, because he gets his looks from his father's side. <laughs> oh, silly me. Danny, are you sure you're feeling okay? I feel amazing, Jack. Great, wonderful, perfecto, terrifico, never felt better. Why'd you ask? Because you're acting a little strange. Okay, a whole chunk of strange. Strange? <laughs> What's strange? Oh, I don't know. Just that you suddenly seem to think that Megaboy's your favourite person in the entire world? Well, duh, there's a reason for that. Because he is. <laughs> yeah, well, you've not seen him in years. In fact, I didn't hear you mention him before yesterday. In my book, that makes all of this very strange and weird. And just plain freaky. I'll tell you what's weird, strange and freaky. You're trying to stop me from answering the front door. Look, I just want you to take a deep breath and have a look at how you're behaving. I thought you liked Megaboid. I do, but you just... Why are you trying to stop me from seeing him? Why are you trying to get between him and me? I'm not trying to get between you and Megaboid. I just wondered whether, instead of answering the front door, you might like a nice little lie down. Whilst I call your parents and let them know you're having a crisis. There's no time! Megaboid's here. <laughs> okay, chunk of weird. Definitely too mild a description. Megaboid! Oh, you're not Megaboid. Nice to see you too. How's it happening, beanbags? Megaboid! <laughs> First bit. I said sleepwalk, you cured me. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so,
Is it just me, or did she seem a bit too pleased to see him? Oh, <laughs> my. Don't even go there. Oh, this thing is biting into places I didn't even know were there. Oh, I hope you're not planning on using the den this morning. I've got my first class in there. Danny said I can use the den for my teacher size class. Now, now, children. You'll just have to share the den. Fine. Fine. Good. Right. We'll share the den. Bring it on. Bring it on. How does you like? Oh, hard as you like. like. How does that like? <laughs> I got all this for you, Mega Boyd. Mega Boyd feels special. Are you comfy enough, warm enough, had enough to eat? Are you enjoying the game? Is there anything else I can get for you, you amazing person, you? Just wait there until I need anything else. Anything for my Mega Boyd. while she sleeps. Too young to understand, was I? <laughs> Megaboy thanks you for buying him all this splendid gear. And how are your Mega Waffles? Megaboy is enjoying them. <laughs> Can I have some more? Come on right up! <laughs> Megaboy? Sup? Remind me why I agreed to buy you all this stuff and make you waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your... Favourite cousin ever. Isn't it time for your morning nap? Morning nap? Last night was phase one of the treatment. We don't want you sleepwalking again. Okay, well, I guess you know what we're talking about. Yeah, so just relax on the sofa and I'll find the headphones. Looking for these? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You won't hear a thing. Scratch that fine. And scratch it. And scratch it. Scratch it. Scratch it. Scratch that fine. Spin. 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 Spin.
<laughs> so where's my free T-shirt then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> waffles, 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 waffly waffles. Danny, are you feeling okay? Oh yes, I'm just peachy, just making your waffly waffles. Now sit down, go and sit down. <laughs> Get stuck in. And uh, make sure you don't forget the syrup. <laughs> what did Burger Boy do to deserve that? I don't know why I did that. It's time you and I had a little talk. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, Jack. First I'm sleepwalking, now every time I wake up I feel like a different person. Well, maybe those relaxation messages aren't as relaxed as you thought. I guess not. You will listen very carefully. You're no longer under Megaboid's control. Hold on, that's Maisie. But yesterday it was Megaboid. You recorded a message telling Danny to be mean to me? That truly is low. It just proves that I've got the smarts to get involved in whatever scheme you're up to. Megaboid's not a schemer. He was just trying to teach Danny a lesson. For the way she used to treat me when we were younger. She used to make me dress up and go to all the Dolly's tea parties. One for Pollyanna, one for Mrs. Muffin, and one for little Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> you went to all this effort just to get rich? I'm impressed. I'm not cute little Lawrence the Sailor Boy anymore. I've got a proposal. Even by working separately, we managed to control Danny completely. If we became partners and worked together, then we could take over the world. I'm not partnering with some little kid. I'm almost the same age as you, you, you nappy fat. Stop treating me as if I'm nothing. You didn't like it when Danny treated you like that. Okay. Maybe together we could show Danny that no one messes with this mega dude. Fine. We've got a deal. Yeah, yeah. I need to work on that. You're no longer under Megaboid's control. You're under my control. Megaboid is your enemy. I am going to teach Maisie and Megaboid a lesson. One that they can't learn in school. What, advanced ostrich plucking? No, Jack. Revenge. You know, you never really got the hang of being mean, did you? <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, I didn't hear you come in. Why are you behind my decks? Well, I was practicing. Well, Jack said you were dropping out of the DJ size business. I'm not doing DJ size. I decided to become a DJ. Huh? But, but you can't do that. That's my thing. How hard can it be? I mean, it's just a bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> Nice maze, Ruby. On second thoughts, maybe DJing isn't for me. I'll tell you what, Jack. I'll quit DJing if you promise to quit personal fitness. Uh, fine, anything. Just stay away from my gear. Oh, poor baby. What did the nasty lady do to you? Is it still working? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Good, because I need it. And your smoke machine and some spare turntables. Okay. But she's not coming anywhere near them. <laughs> I've got a customer. Customers can wait. Revenge comes first. <laughs> okay, so this is the list of things we're going to tell Danny to get is when she next goes to sleep. Half a tonne of raspberry ripple ice cream. Our very own Hilter Skelter. Three ponies each. You can never have so many ponies. And tickets to the grand reopening the Weasel World. <laughs> so, what do you think? I reckon we record Danny's next sleep message. What's going on? <laughs> Behold! The dreamscape of terror! <laughs> hey Z, what's going on? Are you serious? Welcome to the night. What? You three spinning about in a bit of fog? Have you all lost your mind? Hey, you have lost your mind. For this, it's just a big scary dream. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Megaboy hates dreams like this. I have one more way. Big turn into potatoes. No, this is freaking me out. I have to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. 
Where's my dream maker, boys? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fine. So maybe my plan didn't work. But all I wanted to do was get you both back. You have been messing with my mind when I've been asleep. Mega Boy just wanted mega revenge. For what? <laughs> <laughs> There's Muffin. And one for little Lawrence. I'm not little. You're whatever I say you are. And you better get used to it, because after this we're playing bets and you're going to be a penguin with a bladder problem. <laughs> <laughs> When you didn't do that, you used to make me dress as a butterfly. A pink butterfly. <laughs> so not my colour. That was ages ago. And some scars take time to heal. You're my favourite cousin, though. I mean, none of the others would let me do all that stuff. And neither will Mega Boy. Now, how are you going to repay me? Whoa, I think we're quits. You turn me into your servant. Anyway, I want to know what Maisie's going to do to make it up to me. <laughs> not so fast! What have I done? At least Mega Boy had a reason to tinker with Danny's head. You just did it to prove a point. And I'm sure you'd hate for Mum and Dad to know you've been misbehaving again. Uh, coming through! <laughs> <laughs> More waffles, Danny. Mm. Don't mind if I do, Maisie. Another membership? Don't push out because it's only Danny I owe. Thank you. So, what are you going to do about your sleepwalking? Oh, well, I got some advice off Mega Boy's parents. I think I was just too stressed about my workload. So you just need to relax a bit more. Exactly. Oh, this is well crispy. Crispy. Mmm. <laughs> wow, that was such an exciting episode. Say you think, coordinator? Coordinator? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.